Hello, Virgo. Welcome to Ascending Souls Journey. I am Lorianne here to give you the messages for the month of August. We're doing things in a whole brand new way, and I want to welcome you to my channel. We're going to start in the month of August where I'm going to do tarot readings on YouTube, and the energy, healing, and guidance, and inspirations will be on TikTok. But those little energy shorts are going to be a little quick dose of something that will help you right here on YouTube, those uh, energy shorts. So we're starting off with the changes in August, the way that I lay out this spread for you. We're going to look at the first week, second week, third week, and fourth week, and look at the whole picture in the end for you. And I hope that this is going to help you a lot more. And those of you who are interested in the energy healing, you can look on a different avenue and keep that tarot separated, right? So let's take a look at your first week, second week, and third week. There we go. Here's your first week, your second week, third week, and fourth week. So we are starting off. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is the Queen of Cups. Now, Virgo, sun, moon, and rising, this is about you opening up your heart, opening up your home, opening up love outside of you because you are absolutely going to feel uh, fulfilled inside of you except for one thing, the cup. There's one thing missing in your life. You know, the queens, they got it going on. They know how to put everything together. So even though you don't necessarily have love or the absolute love partner in your life right now, this is saying you understand and you are open to getting what is working for you. Not necessarily what you are dealing with. But let's pull some energy. This is a new offer that is coming in for some of you on a career level that is going to make you sing and dance and I feel giddy, almost giddy. Now I feel some of you, it is in the acting, performing industry, I don't know why. Uh, it doesn't, it's not indicative of the card other than you love what you do. Whatever it is, you are going to love it. But I do feel it's in the spotlight, if we wanna call it that. There you go, there's a star card. So the star card is the sign of Aquarius. You may be dealing with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aqua, but, or have it in your chart. And this is a general reading, so it could be somebody that you're dealing with. But for a lot of you, this is the opportunity that you've been wishing for. This is the one that's emotionally gonna make you feel satisfied. For some of you, this is a mother, where the two of you, mother, child, child, parent, are going to heal and and resolve any old issues. But again, this is going to lead you to that beautiful open feeling. Because when we miss somebody and they, you know, we have to love them from afar, if we haven't closed that chapter, it will literally keep us stuck. Even though we say we're healed and we're good with it, we're not, and it shows in our life. And a lot of us went through that, and we may have gone through it more than once. And I feel for some of you, and here comes Captain Lovebug, so he's probably going to nudge me in a minute. But I feel for a lot of you, he, um, this is my dog, Captain Lovebug. Say hello. Are you going to say hello? Uh, he, he, he has chosen to participate in your reading, Virgo. Not right now. I have to do this. Not right now. You're going to have to wait. Stop nudging me. He will do that, and he will push me until I get up. <laughs> He's so bossy. And so is this guy on the bottom of the deck. And here is the King of Swords. So this is absolutely, for some of you, an Aquarius individual that you are going to have truthful communication with, and you are going to start a new beginning through this somehow that's going to make you happy. Remember, this is the wish card. Wishes being granted. So whatever you've been working on to open up your heart, to open up and heal and release, you're going to be rewarded because they're saying, oh yeah, baby, by the first week of August, you're going to feel very different than you do today. We have the nine of pentacles in the second week of August, and that's what I'm talking about, where you feel invincible. And this came out in um, either Aquarius or Sagittarius reading. I just did those two, and this card came out for one of them. I think it was Sagittarius. By, the, by September, your whole life is going to be different. Your whole life is going to change. If this is a reconciling moment, a forgiveness moment, it's going to lift you into the Nine of Pentacles. 
this emotional offer that you're getting, whether it's a person or a, a, like a career offer, an opportunity, um, again, I feel it's in the sense of you're going to be in the forefront. You're going to be in a place of stardom. It's going to lift you right up. Look at that. It's amazing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's going to bring in the money that you need. This offer is going to bring in that grounding you need. You're going to feel whole and ready to go out and play in the world. You're going to make a clear and concise choice by that ninth week. And I feel regardless, whatever choice you make, whether to reconcile with this person, whatever it is, you are going to feel amazing with the lover's card. I actually am hearing that some of you Virgos are making a clear and con conscious choice to get the wish that you want. You're going to take it and do it yourself. You're going to bring in and like kind of turn that will for yourself. Whatever it is, it is based on clear communication. The lovers is making a head over heart decision. But in the center and only in the center, <clears throat> excuse me, is where we find the discernment to interlude both the emotions and the logic logically we don't want to be with them but we love them and vice versa so it's finding the center ground you're going to do that by the second week you're making that choice when we roll into the third week of the month we have the ten of swords this is a lot of pain right this is a lot of uh, mental restrictions this is a lot of betrayal whatever happened it was absolutely negative However, this is a 10, meaning when you make this choice to be happy, you're going to let go and you're going to roll into the Ace of Swords. So that's beautiful energy. Ten of Swords, you could have hurt them. They could have hurt you. This may have been a situation that was a repetitive situation throughout your life where this is the first time you're meeting somebody who is not going to do this, where you're going to let go. We have the Page of Swords. This is information coming into you. I feel for a lot of you, uh, the Prince of Swords, I feel for a lot of you, you are not going to expect it. Or if you're going to reach out to someone else, they are not expecting it. A Libra, Gemini, Aquarius individual, but it's all about communication. Flying in unexpectedly about somebody that hurt you, something that went down negative, a truth being exposed, a truth being seen, that is really going to help you make this clear and concise choice. Whatever the truth is, that's what's going to bring you to that Nine of Pentacles. So you may be making the choice here and still stuck. Well, let's just ask, okay. I don't want to do the maybe. Let's see. Lover's card. Now, we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces is in this reading. Taurus is in this reading. I feel for some of you, a fellow Virgo is in this reading. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up. So we have the chariot card. The chariot is about forward movement. Whatever is taking place, you're going to move forward. This is action. This is somebody who came in and hurt you. This may very well be a romantic situation. This could be a job or a family friend member that came in and out of your life. Like, here you go. Oops, taking it back, pulling it back, and moving forward. Whatever it is, justice will be restored. And remember when I told you, this is the Ten of Swords. You're getting ready to let go of whatever happened in the past that kept you in the place where you needed to have forgiveness, where you felt you needed to ask forgiveness for help from the invisible forces <laughs> that we can't see and you're going to get it for some of you it's a libra i feel they're going to be on your side or they're going to give you a little bit of truth that's going to open your eyes up and it may be about them but whatever it is it's going to actually turn into a one and they're coming in with that information so it's going to restore balance and justice by the third week and there you go if this had to do with your finances and somebody was kind of uh, draining you a little bit you had to really work hard to fix that you have to feel heal your emotion the wounds within your emotional mind the wounding in our mental thoughts as well 
we have to heal that while we get the finances back and that's what gets the finance and you're going to have it back so if you were lacking in some way you're getting the king of, of pentacles coming in the fourth week and what i'm being guided to tell you is it has everything to do with money restoring balance this is a job offer coming in for something that you lost where you may have really gone through the ringer on whatever it was this is a person coming in virgo taurus or a capricorn saying they're sorry and offering you something absolutely stable probably something you haven't experienced in a while because again i'm feeling that excitement with the nine of pentacles under there king of pentacles a company this could be a ceo organization this is a very large i'm seeing a bank some of you this is a financial institution or a bank that is going to offer you an opportunity that's going to grow and expand you. You might be the spoke person for them in some way, maybe doing commercials, right? I feel you're in the forefront. This could be a receptionist in the front area, okay, because that is in the forefront. So you'll have to look at your life. But whatever this is, is very, very good, If it, especially if it has finances and security attached to it. We have the Princess of Pentacles. Here it is. This was a long time in waiting. Some of you, you had to get your degree in order to get this offer. If you are in the teaching industry and you remember, you may have had to wait a long time before you got that final job offer. I feel it was a lot of work and a lot of struggle, whatever you were dealing with. If this is a person, they literally, you have so many cards about truth and apologies right here. They're going to lay it on the line for you, Virgo. They're going to tell you whatever you need to know. This is 100% the truth coming in. And it is going to lift you up and your wish will come in. It's beautiful. I'm not saying it isn't going to be challenging. You may have to cut people out of your life. But it is going to be a sense of reward. Heavy uh, pentacle, earth energy, cups, love, and air. So let's pull a romance card and see what else is going on when it comes to relationship overall in general. This is for those of you, especially if you had a codependent relationship. Even in business, we have codependent relationships where we can wind up being really flipped upside down, stabbed in the back, right? We've, we've either experienced or heard about things like this happening and again the codependency they may have been enabling somebody else and they're whatever it is the 100 percent, the honest truth is coming out for you in the month of august and it's going to give you this sense of like freedom so to speak so let's pull one more message <clears throat> archangel uriel your emotions are healing which enables you to open to greater love and it will help you release anger and forgiveness. That's what I'm saying. If there was a reconciling moment, they are going to tell you, don't, do not even doubt. They will tell you the truth. There is love, whatever this is, there is love attached to it. This is deep, profound love of the job of the person. For a lot of you, I really feel it is a family or friend, a very close to the heart somebody that you truly love you're going to reconcile differences and it'll finally be done forever this time have an amazing august thank you for watching and much love